back. Azrael Circle, Chapter 3. This is going to be pretty interesting. I hope that it leaves on a better ending than Chapter 2 did. But I'm looking forward to this. Oh, oops, I forgot to change the uh, audio settings. He's sitting on my left arm. You can probably hear him purring. My name is Miles King. I'm an investigative journalist from New York City. What I'm about to tell you sounds absurd, but please keep reading. My grandfather, Reginald King. What the? My grandfather, Reginald King, once lived in the Old Ways Nursing Home a few miles from Eden, New York. I hadn't seen him in about six months and wanted to pay him a visit. He was always good to me. He always asked about my life and made sure to write so that we never lost touch. I definitely owed him a visit after all the support he gave him throughout my life. What I didn't expect was to get involved in my most bizarre investigation. Investigation, excuse me, since my work on the Meat Traders of South Brooklyn. I may not convince all of you, but if I can convince even 1%, then it's worth my career. I drove out to the countryside where Old Ways was located. I got out of my car and walked up the driveway. Old Ways Nursing Home. This is it, alright. The sign gives it all away. I'd hope so. What should I do? Go in with a few jokes, chat up the lady in reception if she's cute. Ah, uh, what if it's a man? Good lord. I may, it may be a bit somber inside. Maybe tone it down a notch. Overthinking again. Enough rambling. Gramps is waiting for me. I'll go in there. Butt ass naked. Excuse me. Hmm. Hello, do you hear me, miss? Margaret Thompson, Miss Thompson to you. And yes, I hear you. Can't you see I'm busy? I'm just looking for my grandfather. His name is Reginald King. He goes by Reggie sometimes, so you know him. It's not that big a place. I know him. Go down the hall to your left. He's in one of those rooms. Which one? Look around until you find him. Edna's barricaded herself in again, so you don't have that many options. Heh, <laughs> barricaded herself in? You heard me. I did, but I'm confused. I think it's pretty understandable. Social cues aren't going to do it, are they? I suppose I'll have to be blunt. I'm busy. Go away. Fine. Whatever. Thanks, I guess. All right, asshole. All right, what's this door? Hello? Get out of here, I told you I'm not opening this door. I'm not falling for your tricks, Blackstock. That's racist. I'm just kidding, obviously. Is that him? No, I don't think it's him. Hi. Oh, it's him, fuck. Hi, how are you? Just fine, just fine. As good as can be expected. How have you been doing? I've been reading all your articles. You're a good writer, my boy. Erg. Oh, holy Spongebob. Uh, thanks, I really appreciate that. You've always been a big, <laughs> big supporter, and it means so much to me. I've been pretty good keeping busy, you know. I'm sure, I'm sure. Any young ladies in your life yet? Oh, I wish. Oh, man, that's what he said. <laughs> I wish. I've been too busy with work to go on many dates. You know, there's a nice young nurse that works here. Betty's her name. Ooh. Except, she's dead. It's, well, it's... Can I be completely straight with you, and can you not call me a crazy old man? I'd never do that unless you taste them completely under a third. Enough of your jokes, I'm deadly serious. Go ahead, well. I strongly suspect there's something going on in this place. It started a week or two ago. Edna started yelling about rituals and demons. It's just a bunch of things you'd expect an old lady to yell if she's going a bit funny. The thing is, I've known Edna for the better part of three years now, and she's not shown any signs of being crazy at all. She's probably the most physically and mentally astute person in here. That was my first thought, then I heard the creepy janitor talking. His name is Rodney. I wonder if he's the uh, janitor from the apartment building in the first, in the second game. Always had a creepy stare. Only person he shows respect to is Mr. Blackstock. Matt Blackstock. That's a name. Uh, Rodney. Yes, Rodney. Couldn't climb into my wheelchair fast enough to see who, but it sounded serious. Mentioned something about a ritual going badly and how it can't happen again. I can have a prowl. A pocket knife. Cool. Nice, so I got a knife. Can't lose that. Alright, what else can I steal from you? I just got a tiny milk carton. A small carton of milk. Alright. Well, let's get out of here. No, oh, what's in here? 
Oh, that, that looks good. Let's read the note before we talk to this person. Oh, the handkerchief. I'll, I'll borrow it. Yes, thank you. <coughs> There's five. Five what? A father, a mother, a sister, and then two brothers. Oh, there you are. Miles, I believe. Am I correct? Yeah, that's right. Who are you? Forgive me, my friend. Forgive me. My name is Matthew Blackstock, and I own this place. Please just call me Matthew. <coughs> my grandfather mentioned you. How do you do? I'm very well, and hopefully I'm doing some good. In truth, I've wanted to speak to you since Reggie mentioned you were coming. I trust he spoke to you about his good friend, Edna. Sounds like she's got a few concerns. Horrible. Would you mind if I took a look about the place? I just want to put my grandfather's mind at ease and enjoy the rest of my visit. Of course you can. Old ways is nothing to hide. We're a very friendly and open place. Margaret. Don't give Miles here a hard time. Don't give Miles here a hard time if he wanders about. But I'm going to the various wings. Fine. There we go. No problem at all. Thank you, Mr. Blackstock. Matthew, I insist. Matthew, then I appreciate you being accommodating. I'll cause, I won't cause too much of a fuss. I'm sure we'll run into each other again. Ooh. Wide variety of supplies. Nothing really stands out, but this does. A screwdriver. A mop. A rope. Oh, I took it. Nice. Looks like a few notes. <coughs> the sick... <laughs> the sick old fucks. Father said that I must tolerate them because he would choose me over them. Unbelievable, but I must do as he said. He's given me everything I have and is continuing to help me. These rituals are only the next step. By the end of 88, I swear I'll have proven myself to him. Reginald is the worst one. He's so friendly to me when I despise him so much. Miles this, Miles that. It's as if he doesn't have any other grandchildren. You put this favorite above everyone first, or whatever it said. Edna is becoming a problem. I believe she knows about my new mother. With the old mother dying, it's been left for Natasha to fill the void. I want to smother her, but Matthew said we aren't murderers. I must listen to him. I must follow his every word. Thomas is harmless, but I can't help but feel hatred for him. He doesn't really talk to me, and I appreciate that. If we did, I'd strangle the bastard. The urge to kill him gets stronger every day. I feel stressed. I just need to remember how Matthew saved me and that he told me not to kill. I must listen. Listen, Marjorie is barely functional these days, and that's how I like her the best. She just sits there quietly and barely speaks. I think she's giving up on life, and it's so joyous to see. It brings me true happiness. Brother is the biggest problem of all. One of my closest allies? I don't think so. We're just bound together by secrets we share. It's like the government officials that always cover for each other. As we're all in the same foul acts. It, sick it sickens me I'm in a pact with Abraham. Signed by Rodney. He seems to slip in and out of using some sort of code name. And this bro. Hello. Yes. Excuse me, do you have a moment? You must be Reggie's son, grandson. Close enough. They say you're some sort of investigative journalist. Uh, undercover conspiracies. How about a little test? See if you're worthy. All will be revealed in due time. Let's just say I'm curious about your ability to research. Matthew values what I say and I'll put a good word in for you. You'll see. Just trust me. Why should I? I'm not Rodney. I'm no worm. I'll just give you some sugar if you agree. Uh, this is Abraham. Okay. More about what I want you to learn. I want you to see if you're observing that I believe you to be. I'll ask you some questions and I want you to go seek the answers. First question. What is the job of my brother? He's a janitor. Jan-ni-tor. Okay. I only have one sister. What's her surname? Anything in these plants? These potted plants? Potted plants. Oh, potted plants! And a girl. Hello. Hello there. Oh, she looks pleasant. I'm very good. Are you Reggie's grandson? My name's Miles. I'm Elizabeth. Everybody calls me Betty. Or Betty. Whichever you prefer. I'm all good. I'll see you around. Sure thing, babe. Ooh. A room. Rather feminine handwriting. 
I'm always so terrible at remembering passwords, but I'm not allowed to write it down. It's just a small reminder to myself that I don't forget the staff lodge password. First two numbers are my current age. Third number is the number of patients currently staying with us. Fourth and fifth of the current year. This is 88. So that was, this is, it's one, two, three. So it's five patients, right? Fourth and fifth is 88. So it's something, something. Where's my notebook? Oh, my notebook fell down underneath me. So the, th four, the third number is, is five. Then eight, eight. Six and final is number of letters in my full forename. Elizabeth. E L I Z A B E T H. That's nine. Uh, let me talk to her again. It's my 28th birthday in a couple of days. Will you be around for the party? Sure thing, babe. All right. So then it's 28588. And then. Nah. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, and nine, yeah. Yeah. Six. Oh, the sixth and final digit is num. Okay. For when I read six and final, I I interpreted it as six and seven. But yeah, so nine. So two eight five eight eight nine. Gotcha. Hello? I'm not falling for your tricks. I'm Reggie's grandson, Miles. Miles? He's talked about you a lot. What do you want? Gramps just wanted me to speak about what's going on here. Hello? I'm thinking. Okay. Fine, you can come in. The door is still locked. I did too good a job, it seems. I broke the handle. You're gonna need to sort this door out. Unbelievable. I have the screwdriver. Motherfucker, let me back. Alright. Sweet. Hey there. Miles. That's me. Red, you wanted you to investigate what's going on here. He did, yeah, so he's finally starting to listen. Seems like it. Don't trust Black Psych and don't trust Rodney either. There are strange things going on. Can you elaborate for me? Matthew wasn't the kind man he seems. He cheated on his wife. He's consorting with scum like Rodney. He tried summoning a demon which got his wife killed. I need you to do something for me. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody tries to kill me very soon. I want you to get something for me before that happens. What do you need? Some of the staff hidden them on black stock orders. Find them for me, please. Alright. What? Oh. Oh. Weston. West. Done. Indeed. Father has been married to one woman. What was her forename? I don't know that yet. Matthew's wife, Linda. Okay. There we go. Thanks. Thanks, Grandpa. Thanks, Grandpa. Uh, Linda. One more question. For name of the current mother. I know this already. It's Natasha. Natasha. On her hand, it wouldn't be the word Matthew would use. We're doing what's necessary. Let me make a cup of joe. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Nobody gives enough respect to receptionists. That's what I think. Absolutely right. I guess I had you wrong, Miles. I'm going to do you a favor, but don't get yourself caught. Here's the key to the staff room in the back quarter. You can have a poke around in there. I appreciate it a lot. Aw, oh, thanks, 